Thanks for being here for another Taw Talk. We take teaching theory and turn it into teaching practice. Today is another in a series of videos on public speaking. What we're gonna be talking about today is eye contact and how to use eye contact in your public speaking. So it is important to make a connection with your audience. So how one does this is with the, your eye contact. The audience wants to know that you're connecting with them. Now, this can be difficult if you're if you're giving a presentation to 800 people. You can't possibly make contact with 800 different people. But they definitely want to know that you're given the appearance of making eye contact. So how do you do this? So there are various things to consider when you're thinking about doing eye contact. And one of them is I, that you don't want to be making creepy eye contact. So if you're in a room with just 10 people in the room, you don't want to be picking just one person and just staring at them the entire time. It's going to make them feel very uncomfortable. And you're just going to be coming off as a creep. So you want to avoid the creepy eye contact. So what you want to do is make sure that if you're in a room and you have, what I usually do is I divide the room into parts. No matter how large or how small the room is, I'm going to divide the room into parts. And so I have a part over here, which is stage left. I have a, one over here that's in the center. And I have one over here, which is stage right. And so what I'll do is I will oscillate myself between these parts. And I'm not just going like this, like a fan, because that's going to be creepy as well. So what I'll do is when I'm speaking, is I'll start speaking to the center of my room. And so I'll start looking like this, and then I'll look over here, and then I may come back to the center, and then I may go over here, and then I may go over here. And so I try to mix it up so I'm not like doing the same thing over and over. And so I'm kind of looking around the room and making points here or there. And so I want to make sure that I'm, and I'm not looking at any one particular person necessarily. I'm looking at a section of the room. So I may pick like a pillar or a chair or a desk that I'm making contact with, eye contact with every time I look over there. But I'm always fixating on that part of the room to make sure that room feels like it gets my attention. Because if I just stare straight ahead the entire time, and I have an entire room, the people on stage right and the people on stage left are gonna feel very neglected. So you have to make sure that you kind of make eye contact with the entire room. What you also don't want to do is you don't want to not make eye contact with people. And so what that looks like is I see people, they'll have their speech in front of them and they have it written down. There's nothing wrong with that. But what they do is this. They get ready to give their speech and they say, hello, today I'm going to be giving my speech and my speech is going to be about this. And what I'm going to be talking about, and they're the whole time they're speaking, they're looking down at their page. That's a big no-no. You want to make sure that you're making eye contact, if not all the time, occasionally. So you need to practice your speech enough that you can look away from your speech and not get totally lost, but you can still read your speech. So for example, if I were given that same speech, so today I'm going to be talking about my speech, and today what I'm going to be talking about are four things that are really important when it comes to public speaking. One of these things is going to be, and you continue on, and you're looking down every once in a while to remind you what you're going to be talking about, but you're looking up enough and around the room to whereas you keep your content, you're not forgetting your content, you're not losing your place. So this becomes a little bit of a juggling act, and this really, you really get this in the practicing of your speech, to whereas you sit down with your speech, you have it in front of you, and you practice not just reading it, but you practice reading it and looking up, reading it and looking up. One thing that's really so important in public speaking is the practicing of that speech. And the more you practice it, the more familiar you get with it, the better you're going to be in giving it, and the more freedom you're going to have to look away from the speech, the more freedom you're going to have to look around the room without having to worry about always being tethered to that speech. And when you're, when you're not looking down at the speech, it's also going to help you not to read the speech. Because when we look at the words, we tend to want to read the speech. And when we read the speech, we take the emotion out of that. And we want to make sure we have that emotion. So 
you can certainly have the speech in front of you, but you want to make sure that you're looking up and then looking back to your speech and then looking up, back to your speech, looking over here, looking over here, and so on and so forth. And you may not have a podium like this, but if you have your speech in front of you, you know, you make you have it in your hands, you're holding it, whatever, you're going to be looking at your speech. I see some people who may have their speech on a, a, an iPad or a laptop, and that becomes, if it, it's in front of them, let me block their face. You definitely don't want to be doing that. You want to make sure that if you have a podium, that you your face is clear of any of that stuff so people can actually see you. Another big no-no when it comes to eye contact is if you have a PowerPoint, what I have seen people do is they want to read the slides because their power their speech is on the slides. And so let's say that this were a slide deck. And so I'm giving my speech, and so I'm I turn back here and I start reading my slide. Well, you can see you're seeing the back of my head, and you're not even hearing me as well. So what this should look like is if I have a slide deck, is I'm I'm doing the slide, I kind of look at my slide, and then I look forward and I say, so what I'm going to be talking about today is, as you can see on the slide, is the three points of public speaking. And the first thing I'm going to be talking about is this. And so you are still making eye contact. You're still looking around the room, and you're able to refer to your slide deck. But you are certainly not looking at it, and you're certainly not reading it. That is the worst thing when people are reading their slide deck. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be making that eye contact and, and can, can keep in mind, it doesn't have to be constant eye contact, but it does need to be consistent eye contact where you consistently are looking out at your audience and you're moving yourself around the room. Now, because this is a video recording, my eye contact is a little bit different. And for me to make eye contact, I merely have to look at my camera because looking at my camera, if a, if a million people are watching this video, Right now, it looks like I'm looking you directly in the eyes because I'm looking directly at my camera. So it's a little bit different when you're doing like Zoom or a video or something like that. But when you're speaking face to face, I'm going to be looking out on my audience at those three spots around the room and making sure I'm moving around the room. If you have a small room, if you only have a couple people in the room, you, you just want to stay in the space that they're in. So you're talking to your audience here. You're addressing them. You're making sure you're making eye contact. It's just it's just a, it makes a connection with that audience to be able to make that eye contact, to be able to talk to them in a way where they can see you. And even if you can't see them, even if they're not making eye contact with you, it doesn't matter. But what will most likely happen anytime you give a speech is you will find a friend or a fan, however, whatever you want to term them who is paying attention to what you're saying and is looking at you. I tend to gravitate towards those people when I'm speaking. They give me energy. They give me confidence. So if I look out and I see someone who's nodding their head in agreement with what I'm saying, I'll look out at them and they're my spot I'm looking at because their nodding then invigorates me, to, to makes me feel good about what I'm saying. And I'll look over here and someone is looking at me, making good eye contact and smiling, or someone is laughing at what I'm saying. So I'm looking at the room, not about the person who's in the room, like on their computer, not paying attention to what I'm saying, or someone who's talking to someone else and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But I find my fans in the room. So there's been times where I've spoken to 850 people. And when I'm speaking in that room, I may only be focusing on like a dozen people in that room. But I do try to find my fans. And that way it, ma it makes, it gives me confidence it, it, in order to be able to continue with my speech. Uh, and so that's another thing that you consider is finding your fans. But you definitely want to divide that room up and then you work your way around the room. So I'm looking over here, looking here, I'm looking here. You're working, you may look down every once in a while at your speech and look here. But again, a big reminder is the more that you practice your speech, the more that you know your speech, the, the easier it's going to be to be able to make contact because you have the freedom to look up at whatever you need to look up at. Because if you if you don't know your speech really well, if you are unfamiliar with it, you are going to have to look at it in order to give the speech. And it's gonna take that eye contact part away. And taking away that eye contact part is gonna take that connection away. Another, another kind of solution to this is to memorize your speech. 
But there can be danger in this as well. When you memorize your speech, what I have found is that when folks memorize their speech, they memorize it word for word for word. And so if they mess up a single word, it throws off their entire speech. And so what I like to do personally is I like to get familiar enough with the speech. I don't memorize it word for word, but I get familiar enough with the speech that I can give it. And if I don't give an exact word, I can still keep going. So like, for example, this speech I'm giving right now is on outline on this paper in front of me. And so I'm just going through the outline. It gives me a key word and that triggers what I'm going to be talking about. But I'm not reading word for word for word what I'm saying. But it does allow me to keep on task because the outline keeps me going to what I need to be talking about next. I can look down and be reminded, but then I can look up and talk about what I'm going to be talking about. So hopefully what you've heard today is going to help you in, in your uh, goal to make eye contact with your audience when you're, speak, when you're speaking. But this is a very important aspect of public speaking, and you want to make sure that you're doing it consistently.